At Pinscreen, we've been working on developing a fully automated pipeline to create 3D avatars from a single image in a matter of seconds. And today, I'm going to show you how it works. For that, I'm going to use the webcam here to take a picture of myself. So first, you need to take a selfie and make sure that it looks good. And then you cross your fingers for a few seconds. <laughs> and there you go. We have the full 3D avatar. Thank you. And we can switch to the mesh view to see the underlying mesh. And we can switch to X-ray mode to see the skeleton and the joints. Our avatars are fully rigged and are ready to be used in VR, games, and animated movies. To create another avatar, you would only need to use a single image. So I have a picture of how with a different hair color. I'm going to use that one. And in a few seconds, we'll have his avatar. So once we receive the image, we run multiple neural networks and um, pixel-wise optimizations to calculate the hairstyle, the geometry of the hair, poly strips, the face geometry, albedo texture map, and the lighting, the eye color, and so on. I'm going to create John Root, one of the judges of Real Time Live. Yeah. <laughs> For better performance, we run our neural networks and optimizations on the GPU. And now, I downloaded a picture of Cristobal. I'm going to create his avatar to see how he's going to turn out. The image is actually low res, but hopefully the avatar is good. Looking good. <laughs> so for the appearance, our goal is to be right before the uncanny valley, right in the sweet spot. And for real-time rendering, we use the Unity game engine. So now, I'm going to invite Koshi to show you how we can animate these avatars in real-time using your own facial expressions. Thanks for your attention. All right, so thank you, Ivan. Now, let's, uh, let me show you how we can animate these avatars. Uh, I, have, I have already created my own 3D avatar, so I'm going to use it. Uh, as you can see, our tracker is real time. Goofy face, no problem. <laughs> and Marco is, and only requires an RGB camera. No depth sensors or no, no special hardware. Um, there's no pre-calibration or pre-training to adjust to the uh, driver. And uh, since we have a high quality rig, we can automatically drive the avatar using just a single webcam input. Now I'm going to switch to the tracker view to show the underlying road geometry being tracked. And uh, this is, uh, as you can see, our uh, tracker is highly robust. <laughs> Image that uh, fails, it comes back. And uh, also, uh, it can capture a large head rotation. And also, exaggerated facial expression. <laughs> for this, uh, we use a pixel-wise optimization to solve for uh, facial geometry as well as facial textures, as shown here. We also solve for the surrounding illumination, and we can interact with the virtual avatar. Uh, can we dim down the light a little bit that's available? Okay. Uh, right. So, um, as you can see, we can interact with the virtual light, uh, uh, with the physical light. I'm holding the LED bulb here with the virtual avatar. So I'm going to switch to the avatar view. And I'm changing the direction of the light. It's a very dim light. I think it's very challenging to track, but our tracker still works. And also, uh, we can change the color of the light. Oh, and uh, still works, uh, everything happening in real time. 
Now this way we can get a true augmented reality experience where the virtual avatar seamlessly blends into the real world. Now I'm going to pass the demo to Jay and Carrie and they're going, to, they're going to talk about how this avatar technology can be used in immersive AR chatting scenarios. So the cool thing about using this tech, as opposed to traditional video chatting or face filters, is that using avatars allows you a new degree of creativity and fun. So to show this, Jaylen and I have set up a virtual chatting environment to simulate what this would be like. So I can ask things like, hey Jaylu, how are you doing? Hi Kerry, how's your first cigarette going? Uh, it's actually really good, you know, I never thought I would be speaking at RTL with such a distinguished jury and audience. So, to suit this conversation, I can switch to avatars such as John Root <laughs> or Jerome. So, can you show me what you can do? Sure. Uh, check this out. Let me transform into a friend I like. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see, by using our 3D avatar and checking technology, you can be anyone you want. Uh, as long as you have a picture of them, anything is possible. Yeah, you look really familiar. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check this out as well. Yeah, because we have our avatars in 3D space, we can basically immerse ourselves in a virtual world, and we can use different, you know, uh, different environments and personalities, just like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is much more than just chatting in face to face. So you can use different characters, different uh, different animations, and different backgrounds to create much more dramatic chatting experience. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that's it for our AR chatting demo. How? Uh, do you want Do you want to say something else? Yeah. So if you just like, if you really like what you just saw. Um, we're going to release the technology and product soon, so please visit our website, you can sign up for the demo. And this is also expanding, and uh, we're hiring, so send us an email. Um, thank you very much.